Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance. In the last episode, we went through Traverse Town and entered this strange castle, and we fought Axel. Alright. It's Hollow Bastion Goofy. We went over this. Wow, I'm glad to see you have such faith in your friend there. Now that we actually have choices, we can actually choose. I'm gonna go in the order I did in, uh, the original game. So I'm gonna do Wonderland. Goofy, how did you see that off screen? You know, you have a watch. How are you always late? Right then. Sora, you, you've been here before. And why are you wanting to help this guy? He isn't real. Doesn't seem to matter as the guy seems to be ignoring him in the first place. Yes, Sora. You've been to Wonderland! How did you forget already? Are there any new enemies? Ah, yes, Red Nocturnes. Oh, and these, yes. These, oh, oh, no. The perspective makes it really difficult to fight the Fat Heartless. Because they can only be hit from behind. And the perspective makes that very difficult to do. And I faced the wrong way with my spell! See, they guard all frontal attacks, and as you can imagine... It's really hard to actually hit them from behind with this perspective. Oh god. Yeah, these guys are actually pretty hard to kill in this game. Ow! White Room. Nope, oh, nope, uh, I gotta remove that. Yeah, see that CP? That's each card, depending on its strength, raises uh, the CP of the deck. The more CP you have, the easier it is to build a good deck. Oh, again? I hate these things so much! Oh yeah, I leveled! Hmm? Oh, 
Calm Bounty. Always learn to slate the first level you can. That's actually somewhat useful as a slate, but not really. I'm gonna go off screen and grind up a bit. Be right back. Okay, that'll take far too long, so I think I'll just level up as I go. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do! I hate those things so much! I think I should build a new deck because, uh, as you noticed, things are card breaking me quite often. So, oh, yep, definitely gonna boost my HP. And let's add cards. Don't have enough to add guard armor. Or Simba for that matter. All right, I'm gonna have to go with that because that gives me a bit more of a leeway with my attacks due to the fact that I have nothing below four. Let's continue on. Miss the door. All right, white room summons up white mushrooms. You can't do much with the mushrooms until you have all three attack magics. So, yeah. Let's continue on. Goofy, this is a trial. Were you, were, were you not listening to the white rabbit in the beginning? Oh good, Donald understood. That's not how trials work, and that 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 wouldn't be the what? How are you so sure about that? And you know that how? How do you even know Alice was the one that stole the memories in the first place? Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna agree with Alice on this. Yeah, that was not your smartest idea there, Alice. Why should she apologize for something she didn't do? Sora, you idiot. Oh, that's harsh. How does Sora know how uh, trials go in the first place?
Sora, you moron. The cards are not hard if you know what you're doing. And you have a deck that can prevent card breaks easily. Good job, Donald! But yeah, they shouldn't be too hard. It might harm you if you didn't bother to actually level up. But, uh, it's not hard if you know what you're doing. Where'd Alice go? Oh, Donald asked the same question as me. Really? <sighs> really, Donald? You know, if, if you're trying to prevent people from running, maybe you should block off the exit. Oh, what's this? A nine kingdom key? That is so going in the deck. Dang it. I'll remove that level four, uh, the, the, the four potion is broken too easily. So I'll add that. What's this? Increasing the swing speed? No. No. Yeah, that's what I'll have to do for now because two potions isn't the best of things. Oh, another fire. Really? What's this? Is this the next room? No, that's the last room. Okay. No, no. Ah, get. No. Get on the springboard, Sora. Alright, this one, I'm not going to do an enemy room. I'm going to do Calm Bounty. Which I believe is a treasure chest room without. Uh, Heartless. I can't spend my Moogle points yet. When we get to that point, uh, when I'm able to, I'll definitely explain what they do. Ooh, stop spell. Now, I'm going to change the room into a heartless room. No, why would I use a teeming darkness? Let, let, let's use a tranquil darkness. Why would I use my only zero card? Alright, and watch there be more annoying Heartless, like the fat guy. That always happens! Yeah, these guys are always annoying. This dang fat heartless. But which room is the right way? Oh hey, sunflower heartless. Here. 
Okay, these guys are annoying because if you don't kill them fast, they'll summon up reinforcements. What's that? Strong initiative. Let your stuns last longer. Boost my HP again. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to avoid these guys. You can run in this game, but I don't know why you would ever want to. Because you'd be missing out on valuable experience if you ran. Ooh, another calm bounty. A level two blizzard card. Yeah, if you get card broken during that, yeah, you're not getting the potion effect. Good work! Oh wow! Random enemy card. You don't see that very often. I should go over what that does. Crescendo is useless. I don't use summon cards. I wanted to hit you! Damn, they have high card values! They love having high card values, apparently. Boost my HP once more, and then next level I do CP. Let's do another calm bounty. I want to see what I get. A zero stop card. Useful in certain situations, I guess, and I guess I chose the right room. So, actually, before I go through that door, I'm going to use my last calm bounty on this door up here. See what I can get out of this treasure chest. Hopefully it's a high stop, but it's a level 3 potion. That was severely a waste of my calm bounty. Oh, a treasure room. I don't have a treasure card, though. Oh, well. Fifteen! Yeah, some doors require a certain amount. Otherwise, you won't be able to open them. And some require an equivalent card, so. Alright, let's enter this door. Jiminy, why are you out? So, uh, that's your own fault. Were you listening to him at all? It's odd telling Sora some, t someone. It's odd having Sora tell someone to use common sense.
McDonald, why are you such a jerk? Oh, hi, Cheshire Cat. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, I like the fact you weren't talking riddles before. Oh, you're such a great help there, Cheshire. Good choice, Sora. Yeah, that's a good point, Jiminy. That, that's kind of morbid for an E-rated game, actually. That was some fast decision-making there, Sora. Enough with the riddles! Why can't you give a clear, concise statement? Sora, why are you even bothering to help Alice if she isn't real? You realize you just literally restated something, right? <laughs> that actually is true. And now we finish this world. Need a red card? Alright, Feeble Darkness it is. And then we use the Key to Truth, which normally leads to the boss. If you've played Wonderland before, or Kingdom Hearts in general, you know what the boss here will be. Good idea, Alice. How did they get here before us is the question. Um, I don't know, Sora. Even Goofy picked it up. Why is Goofy the smart one? Ah, uh, yes, the Trick Master. It's not a hard boss if you know the mechanics. By now you realize that card breaks for you are bad. And he has a pattern he follows. Why am I only getting goofy cards anyways? Ow! I'm not even getting a Mickey card! I wanted to show off the Mickey card! Oh well, that was useless. Oh, 
good, the Mickey card! Let's reload first. The Mickey card just gives you this, which isn't useful given you can just jump up and attack him. In the original game, that, uh, that was more useful because you couldn't just jump up and attack the Trick Master. No level up! Hey, but we got the Trick Master card. You know, that's a good question. Where did that come from? No, no we're not. Good thinking there, Alice. You sound like you had such trouble saying your majesty. That would actually work with someone, I believe. Uh, that might actually work in the real world, and I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no, no. Oh my god, Goofy. Goofy, no. Anyhow, we have finished this world. And now we're going back into the white hallway. You didn't. Well, that's certainly interesting and not good. I know you do. Can't help but feel a bit bad for Jiminy. That's a good. It's Castle Oblivion, Sora. If you can't remember, how are you going to do that? You know, neither of you are very helpful right now.
That's a very good question, Donald. That's not good. If you had listened to both Axel and the Mystery Man, you would know this already! Goofy the smart one of the group in this game? <laughs> Goofy, that looks really strange. And let's see what they have to say. Basically, okay. Alright. I'll see you in the next episode. This is Yin Yang 452, signing out.